For the CH-CLO Lewis structure, carbon has four valence electrons, hydrogen has one, chlorine seven, and then oxygen six for a total of 18 valence electrons for the CH-CLO Lewis structure. Hydrogens always go on the outside of Lewis structures. And then when we compare carbon to the chlorine and the oxygen, carbon is the least electronegative. We'll put the carbon in the center. Let's put our hydrogen on the outside. We'll put our chlorine over here and put our oxygen up here. We have 18 valence electrons for the CHClO Lewis structure. We'll put two between atoms to form chemical bonds. We've used six. Then we'll go around the chlorine and the oxygen to complete their octets or until we run out of valence electrons. So we have six, eight, and 18 valence electrons. Hydrogen has two valence electrons. Its outer shell is full. And then both the oxygen and the chlorine have eight valence electrons as well. However, the central carbon, that only has six valence electrons. We'll take two valence electrons from the oxygen atom, which tends to form double bonds, and we'll share that between the oxygen and the carbon. We're still only using 18 valence electrons, but oxygen, it still has eight, chlorine still has eight, but the central carbon now has eight. So by forming the double bond, we were able to complete the octet for carbon. So that's it. We've used all 18 valence electrons. Each of the atoms has the full outer shell. That's the Lewis structure for CHClO. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.